Okay, I think we can actually leave Denner room for real now. How do I get back to... Here we go. Let's grab some elf root from the Brazilian forest. And then do the, the little thing they wanted me to do. Somewhere around that area. Actually, where is it specifically? Oh, okay. Wait, it's okay now. Oh, I should have checked. Um. Hmm. When did that change anyway? I don't know. Ooh. Go to the location marked in the Brazilian forest and use a bow to fire a message arrow across the treetops. Okay. Uh, use a bow? Do I need a bow person? Indeed. Indeed. Sure. Yes. Brazilian forest? No new places popped up, right? Think we can go back to the lands meet very, very soon. You! You were the Grey Warden who broke the curse! I demand to know what happened to the werewolves. Where did they go? She's angry with me. Hold on. She's angry. She wants to know where they are, because why? Because she wants to kill them herself? Hmm... I can persuade... I can lie. I can lie and say... I killed them, so that she won't chase after them anymore. Assuming she is trying to kill them. <sighs> if I say the curse is broken, it might not stop her from chasing them. That's what I'm worried about. Nowhere. I killed them already. You did? And somehow, I believe you. That you took action against those murderers speaks well of you. Take this token. It was crafted long ago by a great master. Now I will go into the forest and hunt. Perhaps there are others still to be found, stragglers. I can only hope. Oh yeah, she wanted to hunt them. Hopefully our actions helped save... somebody? Where the heck are we? Oh, we're literally like in the middle of the Brazilian forest. Are you kidding me? Oh, is the... Yes, firing point. Sign of safe passage. Okay, sure. It's actually right around the corner. Uh, not that close. Can I click on... <laughs> it's too... Oh, oh! Hold up. Hey! Now I don't have to try to figure out where it is. Who were those people? Were they not part of the initial Dalish Elves? How come they didn't know about the whole werewolf business? I don't want to go over it again with somebody who didn't know everything that happened already. Like, we already dealt with this ages ago. Here we go. I do have a bow myself. It is begun. This is the spot where Dee's message needs to be sent. Okay. How about that? Fire an arrow over the trees. Good thing I have a bow, because even Liliana having one doesn't count. The message has been sent. It has not gone unnoticed. Right. You've made some important enemies with your little arrows. You're through. We must okay. Denner mercenary. Oh, what's their... What's their crest? We can probably find out who these people are from that. It's not to fear me. Fantastic. I don't think we need to focus on that guy even. Yeah, the crushing prison is too good. Too easy. There's quite a few of them, but we're okay. You doing all right? It is enough. Thank you. I don't know what we did though. I feel like we should be careful about our mercenary work. Folded missive. Emmer Thorogood. Because what if we're starting a war by doing this? It appears the messenger was not expected to survive the message, but you defeated the ambush, and these associates know it is safe to move. Return to the Nod Noble and Denarim for your reward. Wow, okay. 
by order of Emmer Thorough Good. We know they're out there, and they will move when their fellow vermin call them out. Watch for the sign and slaughter the lot. They will know it is coming, and probably abandon the poor sap of a messenger. But even in that, our message will be sent with an authority theirs cannot have. That was the last quest-related item. Wow. It's insane. Let's read one. A very chewed and moist book. Much of this is illegible. Day 42. I begin to suspect that we are being manipulated, as if by some unseen hand far above us. Always, I hear the sound of clicking. Click, 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 click. <laughs> My mouse click? Several pages are missing, and much of the ink on the remaining page has run together. And then told them I wouldn't take any cheese until it came directly from the revered mother's hand. Mud or something similar has soaked into the pages here. Day 115. My mother told me I was special. I never knew how right she was. The ink has smeared horribly. It was Eusaurus, I swear it! It looked just like the carving in the Arl's drawing room. I sent it to the circle to verify, but I haven't heard. From a very chewed and moist book. Where do we pick this up? I have no clue. It sounds like the, the ramblings of a madman. Okay. Can we go back to camp now? It's wonderful to see Kamen and Gaina so happy. A little joy in such a sad time is not misplaced. Are you new? I have been charged by the Keeper to seek out other Dalish clans in Ferelden, so we may spread the word about the Blight. You don't know for sure where the other Dalish are? The clans wander where they will, and we have no way of communicating with each other. Once every ten years, the clans come together for a gathering called Arlathven, and there the site for the next gathering is chosen. But until that day, we meet only in chance passing. Mm, that doesn't sound very efficient. No, but should the Shemlin ever decide to wipe us out, they will at least not learn the location of our clans from each other. That's true. What are your chances of finding the other clans? We passed another clan several months ago, so I have a notion of where they might be now. Perhaps they have seen others. We shall see. How will the Dalish raise an army that way? We do not have an army. A single clan, however, is a deadly force. If we can provide the Grey Wardens with even a handful of clans, you will want for no army. Sounds good to me. I'll leave you to your task. Darth Shiral, fare you well. Thank you. Glad to see you're all helping. Hi! I haven't been here for a while. You did it, Outsider. You saved us from the ravages of the curse, after all. May the Creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us, after all these centuries. He died heroically, I hope. Let's just say his time had come. Some things are better left unsaid, I gather. His will still be a tale worthy of telling Dalish children for many years to come. And now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I, for one, look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? There may even be Elven Grey Warden someday, once we figure out how to make them again. Our clan gladly counts you as a friend. I hope my position as the new Keeper will facilitate more contact with the outside world. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you, Lanaya. Alright, you are the smith person. Do you have elf fruit? We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. You are no merchant, but you have- oh, health poultices. I'll take those. But, elf root. Oh, potion, po a potent health poultice recipe. We should probably get that. And then, 99 elf root. How much does this cost? <gasps> Not even one sovereign? Are you kidding me? Buy him out. Oh, freaking buy him out. But that's two stacks. Two stacks worth in our inventory? Do it. <laughs> Tome of Skill and Sundry. A skill for anybody but a skill is useless at this point tome of mortal vessel increases readers base attributes 
Okay. I mean, we could. It doesn't really matter, sure. Yeah. Uh, you have a backpack too! Where did your backpacks come from? What the? Freaking take it. Hey, your backpack sucks. 125? Your backpack only gave me five. That's awful. I'll still take this. Yeah, okay. Let me sell some stuff. Do you have any garnet? You don't. I think Bodon might. Yeah. Okay, let me check what the... What health poultices actually need, because I'm pretty sure it's not just Elfrood. Even flasks were running a little bit low. Of course, there's no way for us to batch create, so I just gotta sit here and click a whole bunch. Sure. I need a whole bunch of... Okay, 35 is probably enough. I need more of the better ones. Oh. Potent. Potent might be a little bit too much. Greater. Greater is good. Flasks. The distillation agent and concentrator agent. Running low on those. Okay, maybe I went a little bit too crazy on the elf fruit. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little bit. Mm, do you have any? We are working hard. Right. I know you had a few. Not a whole bunch. Concentrator agent. Distillation agent. Yeah, not a whole ton. Okay, well, thank you anyway. Thank you. Appreciate you taking all my stuff. I'll keep this trap here in case if we ever want to actually try using a trap. I saw those. Um, I think we're okay. I mean, no, I forgot to sell all this stuff. No wonder there's so much stuff in my inventory. But you don't have flasks, right? You don't. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going then. Mmm, I think we should probably go back to Denerim quickly once more, because the way thing seems to take time. I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. But this can't all be an accident. Spirits, magic, all these wondrous things around us, both dark and light. You know these things exist. The fact of their existence does not presuppose an intelligent design by some absentee father figure. So it is all random then. A happy coincidence that we are all here. Attempting to impose order over chaos is futile. Nature is, by its very nature, chaotic. I don't believe that. I believe we have a purpose. All of us. Yours, apparently, being to bother me. Oh, I thought they were getting along well, but once we start talking about religion, then it's a, it's a hot topic. Especially for someone like Liliana who really, really believes in it. Uh, really quickly go back. Oh, come on. We're right in the blight zone. Will you stop eating? Oh, there's a trap here. Listen. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Shut your face at camp. For now, watch the bloody road. Keep listening. But we've been looking at the road for hours. No travelers all day. Will one of you pay attention? Keep listening. Oi, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tried. You tried. It's crushing prison, the bandit leader. <laughs> Crushing Prism plus Winter's Grasp basically already kills a dude in record time. Like that. Thank you. You guys don't have Indomitable on. That's a little scary. Liliana Morgan just chill. Oh, grumpy bandit. Let's kill the grumpy one. I <laughs> see. They're just chilling out in the back here. Another battle, I see. Works out totally fine. There's a few more guys in the back there. Sten? You got him? Oh! <laughs> 
All right. I guess they were trying to ambush somebody. Sorry, kind of ran into the wrong people here. If they hadn't noticed. I see. Wait, this is kind of a crappy trap, isn't it? It's like your whole camp. I don't see any sort of like subtlety at all. Quit adding things to my inventory. Allow me. I could do that for you. Hey, at least we can unlock these chests. Oh, hello. Wow, there really is no subtlety to you guys. You have too many people here. That guy's dead. It is done. Oh, those two guys didn't even realize their friends were gone. Yes, of course. Flawed crystal. Bandits. Right away. What? Oh my, my God. <laughs> it's done. Thanks, thanks. Trap right ahead. Actually, As you like. Oh, that's where they put it. Like, what? Who was gonna cross here? This is like deep into. Oh, hey! Wait, there's somebody there! We can leave without even alerting them. Trap right ahead. Are you okay? Oh, hi. Hi. Are you all right? You guys coming around? Oh, guys! Guys, just stole Liliana's XP. Okay, we got one more here. Okay, their, <laughs> their trap placement is bizarre. It's bizarre. Where is the actual exit to this place? Side path around camp? What the hell? There's actually quite a few things going on here. Okay, well, thanks guys for your stuff. Well, we're out of here. You're here about your order. It's done. I made the armor. And it's garbage. What? I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll chafe. The die isn't even... Look here. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. <laughs> it's fine. Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. He's one of those perfectionist guys. I bet it's really good anyway. Although he wasn't happy with it, the armor is amazing. He'll happily craft more armor for you if you can provide him with the scales. Okay, how good is it actually? Wade's Drake skin gloves. Um... I mean, that's not... Oh, uh... Hmm... Liliana's strength is low, so she can't wear too much. But her gloves right now are great anyway. Uh, I mean, this isn't... Uh, thank you, thank you, Wade. Thank you, Wade. I gave you 10 Sovereign for this, really. Oh, maybe the... No, if I give two more strength to Liliana just so she can wear this, maybe we can make some use out of it. I could do that. Right after we put in Lethality, great. <laughs> Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. Uh, how can I help you? Um... I have more Drake scales? Really? I didn't think so. Can you make dragon scale armor? You just don't know when to quit! <laughs> <laughs> Why so glum, Erin? Today is a glorious day. Today, I make dragon scale armor. I feel just... giddy. Uh, what can you make out of it? Patience? Patience? Now, I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. What? what? You're serious? Absolutely. <laughs> the only question is what type of armor? Dragon skin is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? 
I don't think any of them will actually be something I'll use. Okay, the strongest armor you can make, the dragon bone plate. Excellent, excellent. Now don't move. You're gonna have it done now? There you go. What? My life's work, that is. You did it so fast. Of course, Eren. Have some <laughs> faith. I am a master armorer, you know. Miracles never cease. But you, you're not welcome here anymore. I need a sabbatical. Maybe someplace warm. I hate my life. <laughs> why well, he made it so fast now? The reason why I came back early was because I thought you would take a while, so I wanted to give you some extra time. Dragon bone plate gloves. I mean, these aren't... All of my armor or uh, warriors actually have really good sets of stuff. Everybody has sets. The Juggernaut set, Kaelin set, the Legion set. So this is... Oh, this is good. This is good because it's got a... Yeah, the armor is the same, but it's got a bunch of green stuff. So that's probably good. My own armor is the lowest... It's the worst out of everybody's. Yeah, I kind of wonder if I should maybe switch out, huh? Let's see. I have 334 health and 255 stamina. Let's try wearing it. 334, 255. Was that it? There's no helmet? It doesn't come with a helmet. 334, 255. Okay, 324, that's okay. 255. Which is lower than before, but I didn't pay attention to the armor difference, the armor value difference. 34, 81, 105. 34, 84, 105. So my armor does increase, but do I value having more health over having more armor? These are like minute little calculations that, you know what, let's just, let's just keep things the way they are because the, the Warden armor seems very symbolic anyway. And the plus... The, the helmet doesn't change though. Never mind. Maybe I'll give it to Ogryn or something. I don't know. Wait, do I actually still have Drake scales or... Did you not use all of it last time? Where would it be? Ancient map of the Imperium. I... Oh, I do! I have three more! Oh, okay. Do you want to make more? Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave <laughs> the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... I have more Drake scales. You must be kidding. We're done. No? Ha <laughs> ha, More scales. I can make another set. Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heren, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Dove? It will be better than the last set? Of course. My previous work shames me. This time, it'll be great. <laughs> Do I want to give him more money this time? I mean, you already took 10 earlier, and it wasn't even that great. Okay, here's 20 sovereigns for incentive. I want it perfect. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. And I don't want your partner being mad either. He seems very upset at me. This one takes time? What does this one take time? The dragon one doesn't take time? We're closed. Oh, it's you. Your armor isn't done yet. Come back later. Okay. Okay, I will. You know, I'll give the, the dragon to Sten. I want to give it to Alistair since he's the one who slew the dragon. But Kaelin's set seems to fit right on him too. I'm so torn. Ah, go back to camp before I think about it. What can I get you, stranger? I finished a favor for one of your interested parties. Bye bye And I do believe I have a lot of health poultices for you. The lesser ones, okay? Please take the lesser ones. If 
for the love of God, please, I'm begging you, do not take the greater health poultices. I shouldn't have crafted it so early. The captain sends his regards. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. The one good thing you, we all did here. Thank you. Okay, sweet. Now, Liliana, last time we were here, you couldn't unlock the chest. I wonder if you can do it now? Ah! A journeyman paralyzed rune. Getting some sovereign back, at least. Was there another one here? I don't think so. There were a few chests at the Pearl, but we're not gonna go there again. Not for now, anyway. Let's go back camp. On my way. Wow, we've been collecting quite a few weapons here, and my family sword is still here. It's still here. I wish we could display this somewhere, but you know, we're trying to save the world, not collect a whole bunch of stuff. So, while we're in Soldier's Peak. The ore that we picked up, it said we should bring it to a smith, right? I thought it meant the guy in Denerim, but there wasn't a thing for him. Oh, I should probably put those runes here too. Hold on. It shall be done. So there's another smith in Soldier's Peak. Is he the right guy to be going to? Probably. Remarkable. Oh! Oh, damn! My box is full, you're kidding me. Damn, I have way too much crap here then. No, I have no garnet here, of all the things. Dang it. Okay, I'll sell these stuff, because I don't think... These ones... I don't think we need these ones. Brilliant. Oh, man. Okay. Sure. You're a smith. Warden. Uh, one second. I did see the dialogue just now. Just to make sure, these are not ones that Shale needs, right? Oh, they are. They're various combinations. I think... Well, the nature one is different. This one's like four sovereign for some reason. These ones I'm okay with just taking away. But I guess I'll keep the natural one. Just uh, have one around and all that. Like right now, Shale has a natural one equipped. Hmm. It's okay, we can keep one or two. It's not a big deal. And... I will sell you this stuff as well. Thank you very much. Do you have garnet? Oh, we have six already while I wasn't looking. That's pretty good. Oh, you do have garnet. Oh, fantastic. I'll just grab four from you. Thank you. Oh, two sovereign for a bunch of crap. Okay. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Warden. In my travels, I found a strange metal in a crater. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. How much will it cost me? Nothing. My family owes you much. Okay, well, um, I'd like a two-handed sword. And so it shall be. Well, this guy works faster than Wade. <laughs> it is done. I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden? Thank you. Thank you. Is it any good? Oh! Okay, it's good. It's not plus 10 against dragons, but it's good. Does it have a description? The stoic blacksmith, Mikhail Dryden crafted this peerless weapon out of a metal that fell from the heavens. The world has possibly never seen its like, or ever will again. That good? Three slots. Damn, a lot of my stuff, actually all of my stuff have that red background. That's probably a good thing, right? But I feel like situationally, the Usaris is still probably better for dragon stuff. But okay, we'll try it out. Thank you so much. Thank you. My inventory is still a little bit higher than I'd like it to be, but I think it's okay. It's mainly like the elf root and the tomes that I'll use. And I'll put the... Actually, now that we just got a weapon with three slots, I gotta look at my runes again. Can I get a good one here? By the end, before we do the, the final thing or whatever, I'll bring these to the people in the camp, the ambassadors. But I don't know if I need them yet right now, so I don't want to um, spend it too quickly. Okay, I'll get this one. 
Usaras put it back? Mmm, I can't put it back because I gotta get the runes off of it. Okay. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I'll put these away for now. Oh, these are sellable too. <laughs> the stuff we stole from random people! No wonder there's so much crap in my inventory. What can I do for you? Certainly. I've been missing a lot of stuff in my selling. No wonder. Let's get this away. Sell her sword, who cares? Pouch of gems, one sovereign. Okay. Bedroom key? I can sell this? Well, actually, it is taking up a space here. It's not a plot-relevant item, so I should sell it. Yeah. Okay, I think we're good now. Thank you. Thank you. Let's finally get back to Redcliffe. Redcliffe should be Alistair... Alistair and who? Who are the people that we brought to Redcliffe to begin with? Well, we can bring other people there too. People who haven't been there. It'll be like their first time vacationing or something. Usaris. Thank you, you've served me well for so long. But now I'm gonna... Go over here. Okay. Good. Let's go. Alistair, just because Morgan- well, we need a- <laughs> we know we need a mage. Oh, my sword is on fire! My sword's on fire! Okay. We always need a mage. Alistair? Yes. Morgan? Indeed. And... Shale. Yes. Redcliffe. It's all the way back here. The blight's been going up. Oh, this section looks kind of dodgy too. Yeah. Denerim is on the edge. Surprisingly, the Brazilian forest is okay. Mm-hmm. Now, just to make sure. Deliver. Yep, places of power. There's one place in Denerim that we're missing. Probably locked away from us for now. Arl of Redcliffe. We got the treaties. Whenever you're ready to leave for Denerim, speak to Arl Eamon. Gather the army. We got it. We are ready then. Alistair. Alistair. Brave champion. Champion. I think you should focus on doing your own stuff first. Okay, you got the weapon and shield. More resistances. Bonus critical chance. That's probably good. Everyone can use that last one. The death blow is so good. Shale. Shale? Okay. Let's go, everybody. Dwarven soldiers! That's new. The king sends his greetings, Grey Warden. The clans of Orzammar will be ready to fight against the Blight. Hmm. These humans speak of Darkspawn as if they've suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Are they blind? Hmm. These humans speak of Darkspawn <laughs> as if they've suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Are they blind? Just seeing humans, elves, and dwarves in the same place is probably already really magical. Can we defeat the Blight like this? Hopefully. Don't mind the golem, guys. She's nice. She won't attack. My husband lives thanks to you. I am grateful. You have restored Eamon. I am most grateful. It's up to him what happens next. If anyone can force an end to the civil war, he can. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Let's go to Denerim now. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. A 
as stubborn as a Mabari and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. Wow, I can't believe we just... I'm in shock a little bit because we've been talking about Logan for so long, but this is our first time seeing him in person? No, I mean since Ostagar, yeah. And we just saw him all willy-nilly as a Grey Warden who he put a bounty on. Speaking of which, everywhere we've traveled, nobody has really been like caring about that at all. <laughs> Interesting. We did see a cutscene before that seemed to say that Anora doesn't agree with her father. Is this an important dialogue though? Mmm, Arl Eamon definitely wants Alistair on the throne. Anora is still Loghain's daughter though. At this point, we haven't spoken to her at all, so I don't think we should rely on that. The throne belongs to Merrick's only living son. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. I don't accept the sympathies of deserters and regicides. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. I actually didn't realize he was standing right there. Wow! Hi! Hi, Renan Howe! Enjoy your moment. It will end soon enough. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Who are you? Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. He doesn't even want to be king. This guy's twisting words. Uh, the second-in-command person might... Uh, that was the second-in-command, right? The lady? I remember we read a codex entry about her a long time ago before, so she might, she might be relevant somehow. Does it even... We can't persuade him. He wants Ferelden. He wants the rule. What efforts can there be when you outlaw the Grey Wardens? Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. 
The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. No one's particularly reacting to the news of Alistair being of the Theron bloodline. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Me neither. Have you known Loghain a long time? My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. You sound like you admire him. He made us a free people once more. You can't know what it was like to grow up as a vassal in your own land, while poncy little Orlesians minced around in their silks. I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. Arl Eamon doesn't think that Logan could possibly do anything that would be upsetting for Ralden. So the reason why he decided to abandon Kaelin, is it because Kaelin had tendencies towards allying with Orle? Just that? Really? It's not really even because he wants power himself? I don't know that. I don't know this yet. Because we have barely talked to Loghain. Arl Eamon... His health restored, Eamon called a landsmate with a goal of wresting power from Loghain and placing Alistair on the throne. How are you feeling at- Oh! Where's Alistair? Where's my party? Hey! Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have better things to do. I have social anxiety. I don't want to talk to people. It's like business networking. And hey! You're- You're female? I had no idea. I did not think it needed to be said. It has never told me what gender it is, has it? I am female, if you are wondering. <laughs> Good for it. I am sure that to other creatures as soft and weak as itself, that would be perfectly obvious. The truth is that whatever gender I was is irrelevant now. I am a golem. I have no gender. It will not become an issue. Do you prefer to be an it then? Or do you want me to call you a she? Are we going to fight over the same... I mean, that doesn't really apply over here. <laughs> but are we going to fight over the same people? Oh, ho, ho. I can tell that this is going to be a whole pile of laughs. Oh, yes. <laughs> Comedy goldmine. Now, let us crush something soft and watch it fountain blood. That is a girlish thing to want to do, yes? Yes, girl, let's go shopping! Okay, let's have a sleepover! The kind that, you know, the guys think it's a lot of strange things happen at sleepovers. Uh, where- where am I? Oh, everyone's here! Everyone's here! Let's talk to our people first, then. Am I- Am I in the right place? Mm, well, I can talk to you anyway. His lordship sends no notice he's coming, and now the house is full of guests! And dress day preservers, this will be the death of me. <laughs> Sorry for the extra work. We're leaving here. Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. You remind me of the waiting lady, you know, back in the very beginning. <sighs> it's been so long since then. Oh, Morgan, how are you handling yourself? 
If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. What comes, my friend? <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> okay. All right, just chill, okay? Chill. This is not as defensible as I would like, but it will do. What is your wish, Kadan? Not much. I am much. hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. Kick him out of the party while we're in the castle. It shall be done. Par Volan, the Occupied North. An account of Kunari something. In the 30th year of the Steel Age, the first Kunari ships were sighted off the coast of Par Volan in the far north, marking the beginning of a new age of warfare. History calls this the first Kunari War, but it was mostly a one-sided bloodbath, with the Kunari advancing far into the mainland. Kunari warriors in glittering steel armor carved through armies with ease. Their cannons, the likes of which our ancestors had never seen, reduced city walls to rubble in a matter of seconds. Stories of Kunari occupation vary greatly. It is said they dismantled families and sent captives to learning camps for indoctrination into their religion. Wow. Like conversion camps, basically. Those who refused to cooperate disappeared to mines or construction camps. For every tale of suffering, however, there is another of enlightenment deriving from something called the Kun. This is either a philosophical code or a written text that governs all aspects of Kunari life. Perhaps both. One converted Sahiran reported pity for those who refused to embrace the Kun, as if the conquerors had led him to a sort of self-discovery. For all my life, I followed the Maker wherever his path led me, he wrote. But in the Kun, I have found the means to travel my own path. It has been said that the most complete way to wipe out a people is not with blades, but with books. Yes. Thankfully, a world that had repelled four blights would not easily bow to a foreign aggressor. And so the exalted marches began. The greatest advantage of the Chantry-led forces was the Circle of Magi. For all their technology, the Kunari appeared to harbor great hatred for magic. Faced with cannons, the Chantry responded with lightning and balls of fire. The Kunari armies lacked the sheer numbers of humanity. So many were slain at Marnus Pell on both sides that the veil is said to be permanently sundered, the ruins still plagued by restless corpses. But each year, the Chantry pushed further and further into the Kunari lines, although local converts to the Kun proved difficult to return to Andraste's teachings. By the end of the Storm Age, the Kunari were truly pushed back. Ravain was the only human land that retained the Kunari religion after being freed. Its rulers attempted to better a peace. Most human lands signed the Lemarin Accord, accepting the Tevinter Imperium. It is a shaky peace that has lasted to this day. Ravain! Ravain is a place that has Kunari religion, huh? I'd like to visit. I wonder how that really is. Hi, Troy. Waking it. Okay, don't don't go looking around kidnapping children. Okay. The Banorn. The central Ferelden Valley has always been a paradox. No single band holds more than a few dozen leagues of farmland. Yet together, they govern a greater territory than all the Terrans and Arls combined. This collection of independent bands is known as the Banorn, and it is the heart of Ferelden politics. No person has ever sat upon the throne of Ferelden without first winning the approval of the Banorn. Queen Fion, who had the misfortune to take the throne in the 18th year of the Steel Age, wrote of the Banorn, There have been three wars this year fought over elopements, five fought over wool, and one started by an apple tree. It isn't even winter yet. Who would believe that these same bands, now trying so hard to kill one another, just last year, united to give me the crown? Again, fighting over women. <laughs> Uniting under a woman as well. So, great, great. A queen. The queen is the ruler here. Something, something about Ferelden not being sexist. Even though everyone keeps asking me, Hey, sir, are you a female Grey Warden? Never seen one of those before. <laughs> is, are these like guest rooms? Liliana! Very well. Liliana! Get over here. Where is everybody? Oh, this is my room. Why are you guys in my room? Get out. <laughs> Use the room next door. There's another room. 